Welcome back to another episode on our hunt for the Giants of Georgian Bay. The annual fall gold rush has begun and we're striking it rich quick. Let's get to work. Gold. It's something people have always wanted. And when the gold rush is on, they come from everywhere and anywhere for their shot at cashing in. They might not know where they are going or what they are doing, but they know what they are after. The annual fall gold rush on Georgian Bay is no different. In our previous video, we ventured out in search of pickerel for the first time this fall. While the water was warm for the time of the year, the fish were still around, but it took until the evening bite for us to really capitalize. The water has cooled since then, and we're betting the fish are stacking up in predictable locations and depths that are comfortable to fish. Today's strategy is to target mid-depth flats off of big weed beds next to the deepest water in the area. We're moving close to spring spawning areas as well. To learn our entire walleye fishing strategy, be sure to click the link in the video description. An easy tip to save a lot of headaches while fishing offshore and especially in windy conditions is to leave the boat in gear after you shut it off. This will prevent the prop from spinning and tangling your line in the event the wind blows you off the spot or your bait gets away from you. Fishing line around the prop of your boat is a fast way to damage seals if you can't get it out before starting the motor. Feeling good? Is it? It's a big net? No, oh, it feels weird though. Friggin' dollar. Oh! In the fall, a number of species pack into small areas. Sometimes, a feeding pike or muskie can put the bass, walleye, and other small game on defense, and they won't feed until the predators have finished. Oh, where do you want me? One mistake a lot of anglers make when fishing for walleye is sitting too still. While sitting in a spot for the fish to turn on can produce results, newer electronics have made it easy to see that walleye are constantly on the move. While they might not leave an area, they will roam the structural elements into the weeds, shallow, deep, back and forth, spooking when boats get too near, and more. Making long casts, constantly moving around the spot, and working the area thoroughly, as well as cycling between a few different areas until you make contact with the schools will improve your success exponentially. Oh, that's right. What do you think? 25, like 26, 27? Mm -hmm. I guess they 
for a quick morning fish. Today couldn't have went much better. After the success of yesterday morning, we couldn't help but get back out after more gold. We're on the water early and the fish should still be shallow. This may not have been the intended target, but it's one catch I'm not going to complain about. While we've managed to catch dozens of five pound bass over the past few seasons, crossing the six pound mark is one that has eluded us. Another season goal crossed off the list and a new personal best small. With another successful morning putting pickerel in the boat, we decided to switch things up and explore new areas with our electronics and try for one giant bite by trolling big baits. Another successful day on the water and things are only going to get better from here. The gold rush has begun and it's time to strike it big. 